Hello and welcome back. In this lecture, we're going to look at grant writing tips for winning proposals. All of these are tips that we will cover later in detail. One of the things I like to point out is that you should try to remove any hindrances to your proposal writing time. That could mean any personal obligations. And also, I suggest that you learn how to write a proposal in small segments. There are four tips we're looking at. Read and organize. Present an excellent document. Use current and relevant data. And also to incorporate tables and charts. Now there are two terms that you also have to know when you're searching for proposals. The RFP stands for Request for Proposal. The RFA stands for Request for Application. And these are documents that will be prepared by the funder, and it describes what is required in your proposal. So tip number one, first you want to make sure that you read the RFP or the RFA. You want to make sure that you're eligible and that the due date is doable. You want to check to see if there are any requirements or collaborations within the RFP. Lack of following directions is one of the major problems in proposals. Tip number two, you have to make sure that you follow the formatting guidelines, page numbers, and so forth of the organization, of the RFP. You want to make sure that you have a header in your proposal. It just simply makes the document look better, and it's also easier for the staff uh, the reviewers to uh, know who is writing and for what purpose. And you see I have an example of the footer raising academic achievement for middle school students as well as a page number. Yours doesn't have to be this large, but I enlarge this just for presentation purposes. You also want to make sure that you're using current and relevant data. You want to make sure that the narrative is read, well written and that it includes uh, sources. You have to write your narrative based on the requirement in the RFP or the RFA. Uh, tip number four would be to incorporate tables and charts or any other type of graphic to illustrate your narrative. These are just four tips, and we'll cover these in more detail later on in the course. I'll see you in the next lecture.